If you do not already have a walk target created, we need to create one first. I'm going to go through this very quickly since it's detailed in another video. In this case, we're going to go to a precinct walk for Temple Terrace. I want voters that voted in at least two of these selected elections, Republicans only. I'm going to kick out people in our don't mail group as well as ones that we know support or oppose us. And I'm going to save these as a targeted walk list. I'm going to keep the default name since this is targeted houses for our primary election. It has used default values that we have set up in the campaign setup link on the main menu. If you are not using the mobile app, you can skip adding groups here and go directly to map. If you are using the mobile app, you want to specify which groups walkers need to be able to easily access. Once you have everything configured, click Save, and then click a map. Now we see our targeted houses on a Google map, and we can use the regular Google map tools to zoom into the area where we want to begin creating our packets. So you can select the houses that you want to include in a packet by clicking on them individually or you can come up and use the select by area tool and then click every place you want to put a corner and draw your custom boundary line around the houses that you want to put together. Now here we can see houses back up to each other so we want to make sure that we include only the houses on the street right here on River Hills Drive to keep these together. Once we're happy with that selection and close it off, now we can click Submit. And that has created our packet and make it more specific. Now we want to set the options for our printed walk packet. There are several listed here that are self-explanatory. Although we do have options to split houses between odd and evens, uh, typically you'll find walkers are better off deciding that on their own when they do the walk. Click Get PDF Packet. Here's that PDF file, which we can print. The cover page is an overview map showing all the targeted houses. And on our options, we selected to include the last two digits of the house number inside the marker. The remaining pages are an alphabetized list of the targeted houses in the packet. Once you have printed the packet or emailed it on to your walkers, simply close the window. You're back to the map. And now you can continue on with the remaining markers, creating your next packet.